That's a big hole. Well, you can see a lot of corn. I don't know how much. You can see a lot of corn coming out of it. So our loads from Saturday were 12% again. This is what happens when it's so dry. It's clogged up. This is not sponsored. He didn't ask me to post this. Oh my God. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Hey everyone, day three of corn harvest. So we are actually heading back to the shop right now. We're taking the harvester back to the shop. My dad noticed that he, he felt like there was a lot of corn coming out of the machine and he made some adjustments and it was still happening. So he actually had the guys help him clean it off this morning and they ran it for a little bit. They could tell that it was really coming out of a certain area and he kind of went up there with a flashlight and could see that something is bent or there's a hole or something. So we are gonna run back to the shop and we'll see if this is gonna be an easy fix or a difficult fix but hopefully we'll be out harvesting earlier this morning than we have been the first two days. I'll try to figure this out. So it's in this piece. That's a clean grain auger. Clean grain auger. Uh, excuse me, not auger, clean grain elevator. Clean grain elevator, and this is just like a sheet metal or something. So, right? I mean, kind of. And it's on this it's on this piece, but on the other side in the you back okay up on I the top. Yeah. Anyway, it's a, there's a you can see from underneath there's a chain with paddles on it that takes some uh, Oh there you go. So there's this chain <laughs> paddles and that carries the corn up to the hopper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can't really see it, but it's up there and it looks like there's like a little tear in the metal or something. Sarah, will you pull on that belt? Pull it out. This one? Yeah, pull it. Will go. I might need both hands. Hold on. Okay. Wow. That's a big hole. Well, you we can see a lot of corn. I don't know how much. You can see a lot of corn coming out of it. So this is from inside the hopper. Are you just going to weld like a piece of metal over it, you think? Or what do you think he's going to do to fix it? Yeah, he's going to put a patch. A patch. Got my dad's welder. And here is the... Stuck it up there so he could reach it. He's going to weld a little piece on. All right, hopefully it's all fixed and we are heading back out to the field. All right, it's finally showtime. Let's get out there and see what we can get done today. Got my dad in the harvester. Vicente is running the disc. Um, gonna disc some headlands for us, and I am in the bank out wagon. I'm wearing my friend's pool shirt. I'm gonna sit up, and probably the parking brake alarm is gonna go off. <laughs> it says "World's Okayest Grain Cart Driver." <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Um, this is my friend Leslie Kelly. She is high heels and canola fields. So if you're interested in this amazing shirt, 
I will put a link to her shop. I think last time I looked they were sold out, so they might be sold out. But I'll put a link to her shop anyways and you guys can keep a lookout. It's such a great shirt. And it's got like all these like hand symbols, which I will admit, we use uh, walkie talkies. But they're kind of cheap walkie talkies and they don't make it through the whole day sometimes. We need some new batteries. So definitely some hand signaling happens. Looks like we got a little corn that came up late here. That's pretty green. But that's just because it came up late. So our loads from Saturday were 12% again. So the corn is like beyond dry. But one one thing is, uh, so the trucks go in and they have to be 80,000 pounds. That's like the max we can have here. And they were exactly 80,000 pounds. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> uh, the guy that gets our trucks, he always is telling me how close I am to 80. The very first ones I sent in might have been a little heavy. So it's nice when I can hit 80. Dad just said his air conditioner stopped working and you know cab tractors are great they're so nice but even if it's not hot outside if you don't have AC that thing starts cooking pretty fast so and especially that harvester's got so much window we're gonna see he's my dad's pretty tough I mean he'll be really sweating in there before he calls it quits but no AC, that's tough. So look at that, <laughs> day three, rough, rough start still. I think my dad and I were thinking if we harvested nonstop, it was only gonna take us six or seven days. Well, it's gonna take longer than that now. if I mentioned this in my last video or not but I have been asked before if we use auto steer this tractor does have auto steer in it but we mainly use it for planting corn and cultivating I'm not using it driving the bank out wagon and our harvester does not have auto steer auto steer is nice um, it's a lot more efficient for certain things I think for planting it's great um i don't know how much it affects the efficiency for harvesting other than you have to pay attention more but for us some of our fields are so short that honestly it's like you got to be on top of it you can't you can't not pay attention so that's our auto steer situation okay i can see dad stop down here I'm pretty sure what is happening is the corn is so dry 
that it's actually getting plugged up on the header and we've had that happen in the past. I don't know what it is, if it's like breaking off or what exactly is happening, but when the corn gets like extremely dry, it'll clog it up and yep, I can tell. They'll probably have it done before I get there, but he's moving it around, he's breaking it up and it's because it's so dry. slow but we're getting somewhere today you know at least we're moving along This is what happens when it's so dry, it's clogged up. So just because it breaks off, do you know why it does this? Not really. It's so dry. Just so dry that it kind of breaks and doesn't get sucked in for some reason. What's that? Well, it's so dry, it's breaking all the leaves. Just off. breaks off. So he's gonna run the header and see if it'll suck it in a little bit. super slow and then he just oh he just stopped must be clogged again oh boy we got a windows down driving down the 405 sing along to the radio mm -mm. we're gonna make it someday nothing's gonna get in our way we will be the big show so make sure that you don't miss out just be there we're taking our shot bring what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we'll play loud surfing the crowd everybody's jumping around yeah that's the place where i wanna be going on stage headline on the saturday night dumping in the back but I don't have a pile yet so basically he unloads and then he just tells me when to stop he puts a hand up I see some people that drive next to the harvester the whole time and I don't know why we don't do it that way we just don't there's a praying mantis on the hood of my tractor he's looking at me with his little kung fu hands What's up, little dude? Just coming for the ride? Just gonna chill with us? Okay. He just came out of nowhere and he's been chilling. Guess he's gonna ride with us for a while. So I, w I bought a new GoPro. I got the GoPro 9. I'm super excited about it. And I was like, I can't really afford a GoPro right now. So I'm definitely gonna sell my GoPro 8 and everything that comes with it because it doesn't fit with the GoPro 9. 
but now I'm not gonna lie having two GoPros is really convenient but when I'm not in the tractor I don't think it's gonna matter it's just really nice for harvest season I have to sell it guys I have to sell it I don't need two GoPros all right last load of the day I just need to write my final truck tag and then we're gonna call it a night. We actually did pretty good today. Um, still a little bit of a rough day, but we got a decent amount harvested. We still have a little section that we're gonna do back there in this field, but uh, definitely a little bit better. So we did three trucks today and as long as everything goes right, we will do even more tomorrow. So, rough start to harvest all together, but today was a better day. Okay, I just got this package in the mail from Charred Chisel. This is not sponsored. He didn't ask me to post this, but he tagged me on Instagram today, so I know what it is. I had no idea. I was not expecting it until today. He must have got like a alert that it had been delivered. Um, so this is really cool. Oh, so they sent me a letter and they said that they saw me comment on calf vets uh, flag because she they sent her a flag and I saw it. It looked amazing and they thought they weren't sure if they wanted to do one for me because they said my logo is so complicated, but they took the challenge and they said they're so happy that they did it. They did do like my most complicated out of all the logos I have, they picked the most complicated one. So that just shows how talented they are. It's a brother, brothers, Ethan and Alex. Oh my God. Like I said, I, they did not ask me to do this. This was totally a surprise. I was not expecting it. This is my original logo that I made in 2018. That's super complicated because it's me, a mixture of my two dogs and a tractor. And then it does come with mounting stuff too, which is nice. So I don't have to drill into the back of it. So if you guys are interested in a custom flag, I'll put their uh, website, I guess. Their website or their Instagram will be in the link below. And you guys should definitely check them out. This is amazing. The detail. If you guys enjoyed today's video, remember to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. It means so much to me. And uh, I'll catch you guys for harvest day four.